everybody, this is Jim Cornette. You're watching Southern States Wrestling Mountain Empire. This is your wrestling. Well, James just said if he's not, if Jake's not going to lay down for him, that he'll lay down for him so he can win this match and end this thing. So Bo's now laid down. Jake's coming over. Jake's a little tentative. Some of the fans here at ringside are, are saying don't trust him. We're going to find out here. Jake's rolling in. Oh, wait a minute. Bo got him. Bo got him. He's got the arm. Oh no! Bo's gonna teach him one way or another, I guess. He's got the arm and, and Jake's tapped out. Jake's tapped out. But what damage has been done here? That could have broke his arm or separated the shoulder completely. There you have your new television champion, Bo James. But at what expense has this cost Jake? Look at the pain as Jake's writhing in pain here. And now Scott Sterling's come out to pick the bones. Are you kidding me? And Bo James is walking out of the arena. Bo James is leaving the arena. Bo James is seeing what's happening here. He stopped at the dressing room door and he sees what's happening, but he's not coming back to the ring. Frank Parker and Scott Sterling both now. As Bo James stands in the corner and watches this. Frank Parker, Frank Parker is trying to reason with Scott Sterling. He's trying to reason with him. Jake's been injured bad enough at this point in time. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, and Frank Parker! Frank Parker right there! Frank Parker just nailed Scott Sterling. Frank Parker showing some compassion after his arm. That's been injured at Bo James! Just now, Frank Parker's injured arm. What in the world? Bo James holds the TV title high as he exits the area. Scott Sterling and Frank Parker have had issues. As much as I hate to say it, as so as Bo and Scott Sterling were working together at the end there. Unbelievable. I can't believe what's unfolded here in Southern States Wrestling. Scott Sterling now standing over Frank Parker. Frank Parker with his injured arm. Jake with his busted shoulder. So many questions. Here with Frank Parker. And Frank, I um, want to talk to you here a little bit about what it, uh, what's transpired here recently in Southern States Wrestling. Um, you shocked a lot of fans recently um, with a, a quite a display of compassion. Compassion that uh, people didn't really uh, expect to see from you. But you came out and, and you tried to stop Scott Sterling from literally destroying Jake's shoulder. And um, you, of course, recently recovering from an injury. I guess that, that had a great deal of influence upon your decision at that point in time. But I, I just want to hear it straight from you. It, and what are your thoughts, and, and where is your relationship with Scott Sterling at this point? You know, Joe Wheeler, there comes a time in every man's life where he's got to step back, step away from the spotlight, take a long, hard look at himself in the mirror and ask himself, what kind of man has he become? You know, I'm no angel, and I'll be the first person to admit that. I've done a lot of things in my life that probably most people wouldn't agree on. I had my reasons at the time. But what Bo James done to me, <laughs> you know, a broken bones will heal, Joe. But while I'm laid up over the past few months, 
Nobody's seen me. And that's been purposely. Not only have I been licking my wounds, but I had to take that long, hard look at myself in the mirror. And I had to ask myself that question. What kind of man has Frank Parker become? You know, Joe, it's, it's, it's tough. I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. Because Frank Parker's always been about what Frank Parker wants, what Frank Parker feels like he needs. And it doesn't matter who I have to hurt, who I got to make mad in order to get what I'm after. But these past few months that I've been laid up, I've had no other choice but to do a lot of soul searching, ask myself a lot of questions. You know, and as I'm laying at home and I'm seeing those two little boys of mine run around the yard playing football in the backyard, putting them on the school bus in the morning, being at the bus stop waiting for them when they get home from school, you know, it puts a lot of things, a lot of priorities in order for me. And you know, just as well as I do, and, and anybody else that's been on the road for 22 years like myself, days, weeks, months out on the road, you tend to lose perspective. You get your priorities mixed up. And I guess it took a broken arm and being laid up at home with the family, something I never get to do. And it took that, I guess, to open my eyes and make me realize what the kind of man has Frank Parker become. You know, and Scott Sterling, me and him have been up and down the roads together for years. But when I seen him in the ring purposely trying to cripple Jake Booth, it took me back to those months that I stayed at home, like I said, watching my two little boys in the backyard wrestle, beat the crap out of each other. When I seen Jake laying in the ring and the pain across his face, it brings it all back. And yes, I'll be the first person to admit I had sympathy for Jake. That's why I went out there to try to Scott, stop Scott from killing him, which is exactly what he would have done. Nobody knows Scott Sterling better than I do, and nobody knows what he's capable of better than I do. And he would have killed Jake. Now, Scott wants to be upset with me. Jake probably don't know what to think, what to expect. I'm not Jake's friend. I don't have friends. I didn't get into the wrestling business to, be, to make friends. The greatest sport in the world today is what my dream has been since I was a little kid to be a champion. But as I said, Joe, there comes a time when you got to step back, take a long, hard look in the mirror. I'm not a spring chicken anymore, you know. I still got a lot of fight left, but after 22 years of injuries, the broken arm just being the latest in a long line of injuries, they really start, they start taking a toll on you, physically and mentally. You know, Joe, I don't know what the future holds for me. As I said, I'm not a young man anymore. Been in this business, I've given this, the wrestling business, my heart, my soul, my blood, my sweat, my tears, my number one priority for 22 years. I still love this sport with all of my heart. But there comes a time you've got to step back and take a look in the mirror. And if you don't like what you see, maybe it's time to change it. There you hear, ladies and gentlemen, from Frank the Tank Parker.
Hey wrestling fans, this is Bobby Fulton, the world famous tag team, the Fantastics, and Mountain Empire. This is your professional wrestling. Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Don't miss this. Southern States Wrestling presents the Winter Heat Wave, Friday night, January 23rd, 2015. Bell time, 8 o'clock, inside the Kingsport Farmer's Market. It's championship night. The Southern States Television Champion will challenge the Southern States Heavyweight Champion. New Tag Team Champions will be crowned in a one-night, winner-takes-all tournament. Featuring the Washington Bullets, Florida Tag Team Champions, the Dirty Blondes, Niagara Region Tag Team Champions, the T-Rex Express, and more teams to be announced right here next week. It's the Winter Heat Wave, Friday, January 23rd, 8 p.m., Kingsport Farmer's Market. Don't miss it. Be there. We're two weeks from Winter Heat Wave in Kingsport, Tennessee. Jake Booth, I need to inform you that Bo James has officially withdrawn his name as your tag team partner in the tag team tournament for Winter Heat Wave. You got two weeks to find a partner. What, what's going on? I've got somebody in mind, Joe. This man and me, we've, we've sat down, we've talked about it, we kind of have the same idea. We're going to sit down this week, we're going to get over the logistics, we're going to get things together, and next week I'll get back with you on who my tag team partner is. All right, there you have it from Jake Booth. We're two weeks from Winter Heat Wave. We're going to find out next week who his partner will be. Ian Cross and Vince Valor making their debuts as well as the Washington Bullets in this tag team contest here with Southern States Wrestling fans as Cross has got him arm bar position now. They're back over to the corner. Tag's been made as Valor comes in, catches this man with a hard boot right there. Vince Valor now, side push to the left sweep. Took his man down hard and got only a one count out of that one. Tags made again on the team of Valor and Cross. As he and Cross now continues mounting his assault here. As the Williams brothers that constitute the Washington Bullets are in trouble here in their opening moments of their debut. And Cross, Ian Cross just got whipped in that buckle really hard. Oh, and he caught him right there. Big forearm coming across. And I mean, he caught him hard with that forearm. Full momentum. Cross now. Comes across here. And, oh, he caught him right there. Outside the ring, and oh, drilled him in the midsection there with that knee. As the Washington Bullets are definitely in control here. John and Trey Williams, the Washington Bullets. And they are feeling good and strutting their stuff right now here in Southern States Wrestling as they are making their debut match. 
as uh, Ian Cross is definitely in trouble at the moment. Big clubbing back elbow there. It's recover and got a two count only out of that one. Tremendous action as always here with Southern States Wrestling fans. Be sure to join us Christmas night. We'll be back at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee. You don't want to miss it. As, oh wow, what a vertical. As the Washington Bullets here taking care of business. If for a cover and got a two count only on that one. John and Trey Williams, the Washington Bullets making their debut here in Southern States Wrestling. And uh, working tremendously well, brother tag team combination here. They've made the exchange. Oh, hard chop right there. And now, oh, yeah, we made sure we heard that one all ringing through the farmer's market here in Kingsport. As the Washington Bullets are in control, at least they were. Ian Cross now made the tag right there. And here comes Vince Fowler. Full head of steam. Vince Fowler well rested on the ringside. Area. He's got the Washington Bullets rocking and rolling here. He's got him in trouble. And Fowler dropped his man right there. Nicely executed belly to back suplex. As Vince Fowler, tremendous competitor coming to us from the state of New York has got the Washington Bullet in trouble here. Brings this man across. Hip toss, swallows it in. As we truly have a, uh, a national match here with the Washington Bullets from one side of the country. Vince Valor here from New York and all other side. Oh, and Ian Cross right there. Coming from downtown with that splash off the top rope. But the Williams brothers, the Washington Bullets now, trying to turn this match around. They've got Cross in the ring by himself. He's fighting for his life in there. Oh, my! They caught him with a kick and a punch right there all at once, and this could do it. But no, Ian Cross kicks out of that. What a tremendous shot he took. Two of them repeatedly back to back right there. The Washington Bullets, oh man, hard forearm blow. Ian Cross just took a little baseball slide right out of the ring. Here comes Valor, round and round they go. Oh, backbreaker maneuver there. This could do it here, the Washington Bullets. There you have it, the Washington Bullets have made a very impressive debut here in Southern and States Wrestling. Wrestling fans, Winter Heat Wave is coming to Kingsport, Tennessee in the month of January. We're going to be crowning new tag team champions at Winter Heat Wave. And without question, one of the hottest tag teams right now in Southern States Wrestling is right here with me, the Washington Bullets. Guys, I know you're ready for those tag team titles if you can get your hands on them. When we get them belts, I'ma buy me some extra. When we get them belts, I'ma go ahead and buy me a necklace. When we get those belts, we gonna have for breakfast. And when we get those belts, they gonna have to respect it. Now you know what, I don't even understand why there are even other teams competing. We should just be handed the belts. Without us, the show really is just winter. We're bringing the heat. So bring the teams that you want to lose to us because when you face the Washington Bullets, our job is to win. Your job is to lose. Understand it. Please. There you have it, the Washington Bullets here in Southern States Wrestling. Hi, I'm Ronnie Garvin at Mountain Empire. This is your wrestling. Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. 
Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Don't miss this. Southern States Wrestling presents the Winter Heat Wave, Friday night, January 23rd, 2015. Bell time, 8 o'clock, inside the Kingsport Farmer's Market. It's championship night. The Southern States Television Champion will challenge the Southern States Heavyweight Champion. New Tag Team Champions will be crowned in a one-night, winner-takes-all tournament. Featuring the Washington Bullets, Florida Tag Team Champions, the Dirty Blondes, Niagara Region Tag Team Champions, the T-Rex Express, and more teams to be announced right here next week. It's the Winter Heat Wave, Friday, January 23rd, 8 p.m., Kingsport Farmer's Market. Don't miss it. Be there. Uh, maybe a little bit easier said than done. Caught him with a knee right to the midsection, stopped him full force, Joe. Rex Atkins going right back into work, catching Flyer with a hard kick right there, makes the tag. Troy Buchanan now coming into the ring. T-Rex Express, Niagara Tag Team Champions going to work on Jay Flyer. Got his man down, grounded. Buchanan now with a serious arm bar here. <coughs> Rich and pulling, tugging on that arm, pulling it back in a manner it was not designed to go. Buchanan now brings his man back up vertical base, club and forearm blow right there as he makes the tag to Rex Atkins. Atkins, oh, with a kick right straight to the tricep area. And now one to the back of the arm as Rex Atkins working over Flyer here. Jay Flyer definitely needs to get over and make that tag at all, at all possible to Robbie Reckless as uh, we got a great tag team matchup here in the ring fans, Southern States Wrestling. As uh, we appreciate your comments, glad you're tuned in and checking it out. Flyer right there, drove the top of his head into his opponent's jaw, got him. Robbie Reckless is in. Nicely executed Flyer clothesline. And a drop kick, he cuts a flip. And a second time as Robbie Reckless is high flying in there, no doubt about it, taking it to the Niagara Tag Team Champions in the T-Rex Express. Reckless now, went for an Irish whip, got reversed there. Oh, got kicked to the back by Buchanan, and Reckless caught him with a forearm. Rex now catches him with a kick, slingshot off the top rope into a suplex. This could do it as Buchanan comes over, and there you have it. Picks up another victory here for the T-Rex Express with a slingshot suplex. Let's get the official word. What an impressive showing for the tag team champions for the Niagara region. Folks, we got more action right after this. Don't go away. We're two weeks away from Winter Heat Wave. Current television champion, Bo James. You, The king of Kingsport. The king of Kingsport, Bo James. The number one contender. The number one contender for the Southern States Heavyweight Championship held by DeAndre Jackson. Two weeks away, you've got your shot at the champion winter heat wave. That's exactly right. And DeAndre Jackson, I know you're somewhere in this building and you're somewhere watching. And I want you to look right here, ever last. That is my slogan now. That is my logo now because people have tried to put me out of wrestling for many years. People have talked about me. They've ran me down. They have poked this bear until it's ready to attack. DeAndre Jackson, Southern States champion, great athlete, South Carolina. Very smart man, highly educated, does a lot of great work with children. He's an all-around nice guy, everybody says. I'm not a nice guy anymore. I have been pushed to this. I have been shoved to this. I have had enough knife stuff in my back. I've had enough people talking about me. I've had Jake Booth, my own family, out here trying to take my spot in this promotion. I've had Frank Barker try to kill me. I've had to have surgery. I've had to have everything done to me in one year time. Winter heat wave, DeAndre Jackson, 
When you stand across the ring, you look into these eyes. You look at this face. And you realize this is the man that has put a lot of people out of this sport. You realize this is the man that will hurt you and enjoy it. You realize that I ain't playing no more. Winter heat wave. I'm going to hand this belt to you, and I'm going to walk out with his. Because I am the man. I am the king of king sport. And DeAndre Jackson, it's time to pay the fiddler because you've been having too much fun. We're going to find out. Winter heat wave, two weeks away. We are two weeks away from winter heat wave. DeAndre Jackson, the current Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, you, sir, have a very, very focused, very intense Bo James, and he has got you dead in his sights, my friend. He wants that heavyweight championship, and he wants it at his winter heat wave. He wants it bad, I see. You know, I need, I need some type of clarity, some type of guidance. I need to talk to a priest, a pastor, uh, Miss Cleo for all that matters. Because I need to make sense of all that's going on here. You see, I started off my night, I wished for the very best, and I got my wish. I beat Frank Parker, not the way that I wanted to. I either wanted the one, two, three, or hit him tap. But, you know, things work out the way they do. But nevertheless, I still got the W. Now, I got to focus on a guy that was one of my best friends in this business. He was a good guy in my eyes, and he was somewhat of a people's champion. But you see, he turned his back to get what he wants. He hurt his own nephew, hurt his own family, and I've got to wonder what's next. You see, he took down his own blood, and now I'm wondering how Miss is taking this all in stride. Is she having to take his side or the other side of the family, because I know the James family well. I've slept at their house. I've had dinner with them. They've helped me out whenever I needed it. And now I'm a little bit torn just like they're torn all, all together. You see, the words are coming all mixed up because the emotions are running wild. You see, Bo James, you taught me a lot. Many nights I spent nights at your house and you've taught me the tricks of the trade, giving me old war stories and prepping me for my future in this business. But now, now I'm just confused as ever. You see, he wants to take me out just like Frank Parker tried to take him out. I call him, I text him, I message him every day and I could, went to see him whenever I could because I was worried about him, just like many other people in this business and outside the business. I held his wife's hand as she sat there waiting for the doctors to come out. I was there with his nephew, Jake, wondering if he's gonna be all right, if he's gonna make it back in this business. And now that he's back, he's turned a new leaf. It's almost as if on the surgery table, something snapped in his head and he, Want to take it out on everybody. Now he claims he wants to take me out. He wants to hurt me. He wants to take this. Well, many people have tried, and yet none have succeeded. You want to take me out? Well, like a great man said, it bees like this sometimes. I guess I got to do the same thing to keep this. You see, normally I'm smile, I'm dance, I'm happy, shaking hands, kissing babies, all that stuff, gone. Now you're seeing a new side of DeAndre Jackson. Focus, driven, and coming harder than the other. You see, Bo James, just like family, we fight. No matches, a fight. Winter heat wave, when we stand across from that ring, I expect nothing less than a slugfest, as you should too. Because even though we're fighting for this, I feel like now I've got to fight for the honor of the James family. I got to fight for my good friend, no, my brother, Jake Booth. I got to fight for the rest of the family that he's dished to the side. And I got to fight for my own survival. Because like my daddy taught me when he was around, and believe he wasn't around that much, when you get thrown in the jungle, you don't give up and crawl in the fetal position. You step up and you come out the jungle, the leader of the pack. And that's what I plan to do. And Bo James, if you didn't know, now you know. Don't miss the fans. Two weeks away, winter heat wave.